I'm Xavier and I'm nine years old. Does space go on forever? My name is Jim Lattice and I'm director of UW Space Place in the UW-Madison Department of Astronomy. The answer is we really don't know. Um, the universe is big enough that we can't see all of it uh, for a number of reasons. And just the very idea of space seems to suggest that there couldn't be uh, an end to it. There are ways that we could have space, that we could live in a space that doesn't go on forever and still has no actual edge to it. It's easier to imagine if we think about a universe that had only two dimensions. So I have a model here, the surface of this balloon is the model for our universe. And in this universe, we live on the surface of the balloon, a two-dimensional universe. Notice that the balloon, if you lived on the surface of the balloon, you could go around and around the balloon and never run into an edge. You could go any direction you want. There would be no edges to it, but it's not infinite. It doesn't go on forever in that sense. It goes on forever in the sense that you could go around and around forever, but never find an edge. In our case, our universe is a three-dimensional universe that's expanding, so I'm pumping up our balloon a little bit here, and you see that there's more space. You might also see the little dots on the surface there, which represent, for my universe here, galaxies. They get farther and farther apart. So as we live in one of those galaxies and we watch the other galaxies, they get farther and farther away from us. That expansion might go on forever, but the universe itself might still not be infinitely large or have an edge to it. There's another sense in which uh, the universe has an edge, and that is the universe has a limit beyond which we can't see, but that's not necessarily the edge of the universe. At a certain distance away from us, objects are receding from us, expanding away from us as the universe expands faster than the speed of light as we see it. They're not really going faster than the speed of light. But when they reach the speed of light, they disappear out of our field of view. And that's what this little black ring represents, is the edge of the universe that we can see. And so astronomers call that the visible universe. Notice that, that the visible universe might be much smaller than the real universe, which would be all of the surface of the balloon.